Hi everyone, I am architect Sarika Kulkarni from SK Design Studio. We specialize in residential and commercial interiors. Being into the field of interiors for the last 16 years, many people approach me for makeover of their house. So, I have decided to start something new today called Bow Makeovers. I will be showing you makeover of each room with before and after picture. I will be also showing you kind of a process of how I am going to do it. Our makeover is simple, simplistic and designed to give you ideas that all of you can do. It may not be your room but you will be definitely inspired by the tips and tricks I will be sharing with you for handling difficult and similar space. You may find answers to questions about your personal space. Today, I am going to share you makeover of a living room, which is transformed from trap to pack. So let's get started. So these are the photographs of existing living room of Mrs. Aparna. So this is the entrance door, the TV unit, and this is the shoe unit. In front of the door, in front of the door, they have this kind of a sitting, two big two seater sofas, one single seater sofa and you have a large window behind the single seater sofa. If you see this box, this is a duct which I later came to know that it's a non-structural duct. As you move around, you can see the entrance to the kitchen and then this is the dining table and this is the fourth side of the room. This is the space for dining table with lots of projection for columns and beams. The process of the makeover. After entering, you can see there is two two seater sofas, one single seater sofa with the large window opposite to the entrance, and this is a non-structural duct. I have suggested the client to remove the duct. Also, the two seater sofa. We have decided to shift it up after the column so that we can get the maximum space. The second sofa, we have decided to shift it here so that we can get maximum seating opposite TV unit, which is always a very good idea. You should have maximum seating. The single sitter bulky sofa, we have moved to the covered terrace and uh, convinced the client to buy a comparatively small feature chair here. The shoe unit which was here, we have moved the shoe unit to this side of the sofa. Now coming to the dining area, the dining table was in the corner earlier. These are the column positions. What we have done is, we have moved the dining table to the center and then like this and then and then created a similar column projection here. This results in forming a nice niche for dining table. This niche is further highlighted with a metallic mural here. Look at this wall now. Since we have moved the dining table to one side, this total wall is opened up now. We have decided to fix a copper mirror here. Using a copper mirror not only doubles up the space but it also gives a very elegant look to the overall area. We have fixed a very elegant hanging light on the dining table. Using a hanging light on the dining table dramatically changes the overall ambience of that area and we have shifted the fan to one side and the TV unit is changed to a contemporary one. Now if you see the overall layout of this area, the ceiling has gone to one side. So we have designed the ceiling with the exposed the surface strip light in such a way that the fan comes exactly on the sitting area and on this portion here we have used a very elegant and prominent uh, chandelier mm -hmm. 
the sofas are the beginning of the entire color scheme of the project. The sofas give me the monochromatic color scheme to go with the walls, to the curtains and to the ceiling. This painting is used to throw some pop-up colors and to add some energy in the room. The pop-up colors are also added in the form of this uh, throw cushions. There is a dead wall here in one corner. Always we should avoid to show the dead wall. The curtain should be used to, throughout the whole length of the wall. So I have used the curtain throughout the wall though there is no window here. So this is how the living room turned from draft to fire. Enjoy my video. Like, share and subscribe.